Picture this, a dimly lit room, the soft glow of a vintage movie projector casting flickering shadows on the walls. The year is 1979 and you find yourself in the hushed anticipation of a movie theater, the scent of buttery popcorn filling the air. As the opening credits roll, the screen comes to life with the iconic skyline of Manhattan, set to the enchanting melodies of George Gershwin. This is your first encounter with the cinematic masterpiece that is Manhattan. Perhaps you were drawn in by the enigmatic allure of Woody Allen's neurotic charm or the bewitching beauty of Diane Keaton. Maybe it was the timeless black and white cinematography that transported you to a bygone era, or the witty and profound dialogue that left you hanging on every word. Do you remember the feeling of being swept away by the romantic escapades of Isaac and Mary, their love story unfolding against the backdrop of a city that never sleeps? Or perhaps it was the poignant exploration of human relationships and the complexities of love that resonated with you. Now, let's delve into some fascinating facts about this cinematic gem that will deepen your appreciation for Manhattan. It's time to uncover the hidden layers and behind-the-scenes stories that make this film a timeless classic. Manhattan, directed by Woody Allen in 1979, is a cinematic masterpiece that captures the essence of New York City through a lens of wit, romance, and neurotic humor. The film revolves around Isaac Davis, brilliantly portrayed by Alan himself, a middle-aged writer navigating the complexities of love and relationships in the bustling urban landscape. Manhattan is not just a backdrop, it's a character in itself, beautifully shot in black and white, with iconic landmarks serving as a canvas for the character's existential dilemmas. The film's distinctive style combines Alan's trademark witty dialogue with George Gershwin's timeless compositions, creating a harmonious blend of comedy and sophistication. Diane Keaton as Mary and Merle Streep as Jill bring depth and charisma to the narrative, while the movie's exploration of the human condition and the pursuit of happiness leaves a lasting impact. Manhattan continues to be celebrated for its profound influence on the romantic comedy genre and its enduring portrayal of New York City's allure and complexity. In the cinematic realm of 1979, Woody Allen's Manhattan stirred a confluence of controversy and creative inspiration. This cinematic masterpiece, set against the backdrop of the eponymous city, wove together elements of love, art, and music in a way that left an indelible mark on film history. One of the most striking aspects of Manhattan was its portrayal of an unconventional romance between Isaac, portrayed by Woody Allen himself, and the character Tracy, a 17-year-old portrayed by Mariel Hemingway. The film's narrative drew criticism upon release for its depiction of a romance between a middle-aged man and a teenager. According to Jeff Stafford at the TCMDB, this on-screen relationship bore intriguing parallels to Woody Allen's real-life two-year romance with actress Stacey Nelkin. The controversy deepened as reports surfaced of Allen meeting Nelkin on the set of Annie Hall in 1977 when she was just 17 years old. This real-life connection between Allen and Nelkin has led some to speculate that certain aspects of the Isaac Tracy relationship may have been inspired by Allen's own life experiences. However, Allen himself has emphasized that Nelkin was not underage when their relationship began, addressing concerns about the age difference. This interplay between art and reality continues to provoke discussion among film enthusiasts and scholars alike, shedding light on the complex relationship between a filmmaker's personal life and their creative work. Manhattan also stands out for its evocative use of music, particularly the compositions of George Gershwin. The film features Gershwin's iconic piece, Rhapsody in Blue, and Woody Allen revealed in a conversation with Silvio Bizio that the movie's inception was, in part, inspired by the music itself. Allen noted that he was listening to a record album of Gershwin overtures and envisioned creating a romantic, black and white film that would pay homage to the great composer's work. This marriage of visual and auditory artistry led to the creation of a film that is often celebrated for its aesthetic and emotional resonance. In conclusion, Manhattan, the 1979 cinematic gem by Woody Allen, continues to captivate audiences with its exploration of complex relationships and its profound connection to the music of George Gershwin. The interplay between fiction and reality in the film's narrative, coupled with its enduring visual and auditory appeal, cements its status as a timeless piece of cinematic history. 
1979, Woody Allen's cinematic prowess was in full swing, with his iconic film Manhattan taking center stage as a testament to his creative freedom and vision. Following the triumph of Annie Hall in 1977, United Artists executives delivered a clear message to Allen's producers, Charles H. Joff and Jack Rollins, from now on, make whatever you want. This newfound creative carte blanche resulted in Manhattan a film that not only solidified Allen's status as a cinematic auteur, but also left its mark on the box office. In an unexpected turn of events, Manhattan became the sixth highest grossing film in the United States in 1979, surpassing the financial success of Allen's previous Academy Award-winning masterpiece, Annie Hall. The magic of Manhattan extended beyond its financial achievements. In an interview with The Reeler, director of photography Gordon Willis revealed the collaborative decision-making process that brought the film to life. Willis stated, after the completion of Annie Hall, we simply proceeded to shoot Manhattan. Woody Allen felt New York should be in black and white. We both did. I pushed for anamorphic because I like the graphics. Thought it would be a very good combination for the picture. Widescreen, black and white. I think we talked about shooting it at lunch one day. We both liked the same things. It was an easy decision. Manhattan remains a timeless classic, capturing the essence of New York City through its black and white lens, and resonating with audiences for generations. With creative freedom granted, and a collaborative spirit at its core, Woody Allen's Manhattan stands as a testament to artistic vision and innovation in filmmaking. In a harmonious fusion of cinematic artistry and musical brilliance, the 1979 masterpiece Manhattan directed by Woody Allen showcased a unique soundtrack featuring the timeless compositions of George Gershwin. Every note that graced the film's score was a testament to the iconic works of the legendary composer, performed with precision by the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra and the New York Philharmonic Orchestra. Gershwin's melodic genius breathed life into the film, as his compositions seamlessly intertwined with the narrative, painting a vibrant portrait of New York City. From the rhapsodic rhapsody in blue to the playful and American in Paris, the soundtrack transported audiences to the heart of Manhattan, mirroring the film's romantic and complex themes. Beyond the captivating music, Manhattan also provides a captivating glimpse into the personal experiences of its cast. In a 2015 interview, Mariel Hemingway, who earned an Academy Award nomination for her role in the film, opened up about the challenges she faced during production. At just 16 years old and with minimal romantic experience, Hemingway was thrust into a pivotal kissing scene with Woody Allen. Her apprehension was palpable as she worried about the scene's duration and execution. Hemingway's discomfort was further exacerbated by Allen's intense approach, describing it as though he attacked her like she was a linebacker during the first take. Despite her initial unease, Hemingway later revealed that Manhattan proved to be a transformative experience, boosting her self-confidence. However, the film's impact extended beyond the screen. In her memoir, Hemingway disclosed that, once she turned 18, Allen extended an invitation to join him in Paris. Her uncertainty about the sleeping arrangements led to a tense moment with her parents, who, surprisingly, encouraged her to go. Ultimately, Hemingway's decision to assert her boundaries prompted Allen to depart Idaho promptly. Woody Allen's portrayal of a TV writer in Manhattan adds another layer of intrigue. In a fascinating parallel to his character, Allen himself had a background as a television comedy writer during the 1950s further blurring the lines between fiction and reality in this cinematic gem. As Manhattan continues to captivate audiences with its compelling storytelling and musical enchantment, it remains an enduring testament to the power of cinema and the enduring allure of George Gershwin's timeless compositions. In the annals of cinematic history, Woody Allen's 1979 masterpiece Manhattan stands as a pivotal moment, for it marked the first time the iconic director ventured into the realm of black and white filmmaking. This departure from his usual color palette was a deliberate artistic choice, serving to underscore the film's unique charm and timeless appeal. Yet, amidst the lush backdrop of Manhattan's skyline, the film's characters grapple with their own idiosyncrasies. One particularly memorable quirk revolves around Isaac and Mary as they engage in a playful yet exasperating linguistic battle over the pronunciation of the famed Dutch painter's name, Van Gogh. 
While Isaac insists on the correct Dutch pronunciation, rhyming with low, Mary persistently rhymes it with Locke, reminiscent of Loch Ness. This playful banter adds depth to their complex relationship, revealing the subtle nuances of their personalities. Interestingly, Manhattan also holds the distinction of being the last collaboration between Woody Allen and Diane Keaton until they reunited for Manhattan Murder Mystery in 1993, a remarkable hiatus of 14 years. Keaton's brief cameo in Radio Days, nearly eight years after their last on-screen pairing in Manhattan, served as a tantalizing hint of what was yet to come in their enduring creative partnership. In this cinematic gem, Woody Allen masterfully crafts a love letter to the city that never sleeps while simultaneously exploring the intricacies of human relationships. Manhattan remains a testament to Allen's ability to capture the heartbeat of New York City, the quirks of its inhabitants, and the timeless nature of his storytelling. And so, in the black and white tapestry of Manhattan, we find not only a pioneering shift in Allen's directorial style, but also the enduring charm of a love story that transcends time. It's a cinematic masterpiece that continues to inspire and captivate audiences, even decades after its initial release. As we draw the curtains on our cinematic journey through the iconic 1979 movie, Manhattan, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this film may have had on your own life. Just as the characters explored the vibrant streets of New York City, did Manhattan's portrayal of human connection and the pursuit of love resonate with your own experiences? Perhaps you've stood beneath the glittering city skyline, wondering if your story could be as enchanting as the one on screen. In a world where the skyline of our own lives is ever-changing, Woody Allen's masterpiece has long served as a timeless reminder of the complexities and joys of love, relationships, and self-discovery. Did the film's witty dialogue, evocative cinematography, or unforgettable soundtrack strike a chord within you? Did you find yourself falling in love with the city that never sleeps, just as the characters did? Now, it's your turn to share. We'd love to hear your cherished memories, your reflections, and your favorite moments from Manhattan. Whether it's a particular scene that left an indelible mark, a quote that still resonates with you, or a personal connection you've forged with the film over the years. Your thoughts are a testament to the enduring power of cinema. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic voyage, and for sharing your thoughts on Manhattan. Your unique perspective enriches the tapestry of our collective appreciation for this timeless classic. Until next time, keep the spirit of Manhattan alive in your heart, and let the cityscape of your dreams continue to inspire. Warmly. <laughs>